In this video, we're going to figure out the area between these three curves here. This problem is requested by one of my dearest students, and she's been studying really well, and I think she's going to do great. I'm going to number these equations. So number one, that equates to this graph right here. Number one, it's already labeled, but number two, I'll use different color. Number two graph is y equals 4 over x squared, which is this graph right here. Number 3 graph, this graph right here. That's number 3. So we're supposed to find p and q coordinates. They give you y values already, which makes it easier. They say p is something p comma 4, and then q is q comma 1. Let's figure out what p and q are. Point P is an intersection of the graphs number 1 and number 2. If you use number 2 equation, y is equal to 4 over x squared, I could figure out what x is because they gave us what y is. y is 4. So if I use that, x should equal to plus or minus 1. But it's on the right side, so x must be 1. That means P is 1. So we have p equal to 1. So that is 1 comma 4 now. We do the same thing with q. q is a point of intersection of graphs 2 and 3. So let's just pick an easy equation to work with. Again, I'm going to use equation number 2. Again, number 2. So y is equal to 4 over x squared. In this case, y is 1. So I'm going to let 1 is equal to 4 over x squared. That means x squared must be equal to 4. x is either plus or minus 2. Since it's right, x is 2. So we know that q is 2, comma 1 now. So little q is going to be 2. Part b says calculate the shaded area. If we break this shaded area into 2, because now we now know this is 1. So from 0 to 1 now. If we integrate from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, and then on and then top equation is number 1 equation minus bottom equation is number 3 equation. So if you just integrate this, it's going to give us this half right here that I'm shading right now. If I add, now starting is lower limit is 1 and all the way up to 2 because that's where 2 is. And then top equation for that will be number 2 equation minus number 3 equation. That's going to give us this blue area right there, the other half. OK, so let's just integrate this now. So we're integrating from 0 to 1. Equation 1, in terms of x, is x times x plus 3 minus Equation number 3 would be x minus 1 over 4x squared. The whole thing, parentheses, everything times dx. Plus, the other one is 1 to 2. Equation number 2, in terms of x, would be 4. I'm going to write it as 4x negative second power. Minus, equation number 3 would be the parentheses x minus 1 over 4x squared everything dx. So we don't need the figure anymore. Let's integrate this now. Before I integrate it, let's simplify what's inside the parentheses. So from 0 to 1, it's going to be x squared plus 3x. Distribute negative minus x plus 1 fourth x squared, everything dx. Plus what's on the right side will be 1, 1 to 2 4x negative second power minus x plus 1 fourth x squared. Everything dx. Let's combine the like terms, 0 to 1. That will be 4, 4 x squared plus 1 4 x squared plus 2x. Everything dx. I'm going to combine that later. Well, let me just do it now. So 4, 4 plus 1 over 4 will be 5 over 4. So it'll be 5 over 4x squared. And then on the right side, 
I'll use different color now from one to two. This one, I'm just gonna leave it right now. Like that, everything DX. And then time two, have fun, let's integrate this. So we could go five over four, x, you add one divided by three. Two x squared over two, we could cancel that out. And it's going to be from zero to one. And then we add 4x u plus 1 divided by that number again. You know how to do this. Oh, that should be cube. Everything 1 to 2. So work on this. Five over four times one over three. One is twelve over twelve. Working inside now, that's let me reduce that. That should be two over three. Working inside. Let's sim let's simplify more. Keep going. More simplification. There is a final answer now. The area of that shaded region is 2.5.